Hey everybody, it's Dr. Law. Uh, this week you're doing a discussion on the use of metaphors as therapeutic, therapeutic interventions uh, in existential counseling. So to start off with, existential counseling is an interesting philosophical foundation for a counseling method. It's not necessarily a technique, it's a philosophy. And in that philosophy, it's the belief that as people find meaning and purpose in life, even in the difficulties, pains, trials, abuses, and struggles of life, that they can find a way to work through it as well as for it to become a strength. And part of that belief is that struggle is necessary, not only for survival, but also it's necessary for growth and to reach some point of self-actualization. Self-actualization being that idea of achieving fulfillment in life. So what that means is life is going to have its hiccups and that it needs to. And that it's not necessarily a bad thing, but that sometimes people get stuck through those existential crises. In other words, those moments in life where they lose meaning or purpose because things are difficult. And when that happens, they can experience existential anxiety, depression, and develop other types of mental health disorders and whatnot. And so as a counselor, the idea is if you use metaphors, you can help the person work through whatever existential crisis they're having. One example that I've used before that I really like is uh, the example of a tree. Now we all know that a tree starts as a seed, very, very tiny. And then when either planted or it falls onto the earth, if it gets uh, enough sunlight, enough nutrients, enough water, things like that, it will grow. In this case, the story goes that there were two trees, one which its seedling fell next to a creek that always had water and that that uh, water always had nutrients in it and so the tree grew very quickly. Now in another tree, a few yards away from the, the river, uh, though it did not have constant nutrients from the water, uh, it still also had sunlight, but it grew more slowly. So where its partner next door was growing very rapidly and very quick, this one was growing slow. And in order to grow even more, its roots had to dig deeper, had to go much further into the ground as well as further out. And as it did that, it became much stronger. And so through its struggle and its own trial of just life in general, it was able to be strong and very rooted in the ground, so to speak. And the story goes that a uh, storm came along after these trees had been growing for a few years. And though the one that was next to the creek was tall and beautiful and looked absolutely fantastic on the outside, the wind came and blew it over because its roots did not have to go as deep. The other one was able to bend and to be able to wave in the, in the wind and was just fine. And so I like to use those types of metaphors of growth, development, trial, and struggle as a means to help people think about their own existence, their purpose, and their meaning. And that struggle is okay. It's not always fun. In fact, I don't know anybody who has fun in it, but that it's part of life. Uh, I look forward to hearing and reading about your guys' examples this week, and uh, we'll see you online.